American philosopher Ralph Waldo Emerson once said that speech is power. Speech is to persuade, to compel. In the Miss World's head-to-head -head challenge, our contestants use the power of speech to convey their messages to the world, but also to persuade and compel you, the public, to vote for them to advance to the next round. Let's see which contestant has the power of persuasion on today's episode of the Miss World's head-to-head -head challenge. And today we have Puerto Rico. Hola. <laughs> Belarus. Hello, Frankie. Curaçao. Bye, Frankie. Martinique. Bonjour. Netherlands. Please, Mark. And Singapore. Hi, Frankie. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Welcome to the Head to Head Challenge. Thank you. Now, are you feeling any pressure or are you pretty calm? Pretty calm, pretty calm. but ready. Yes. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we know that when you are calm and when you are relaxed, that delivers the best performance. So stay just like that. <laughs> As you know, the Head to Head Challenge does consist of two parts. The first is your video presentations, where we get to know you all a bit more. And the second is the final question. And then the public gets to decide who they want to advance to the next round. And we'll explain voting a little bit later on. But first, we have to take an in-depth look at our first contestant, Puerto Rico. Ni hao, wo jiao, Dayanara. My name is Dayanara Martinez. With great honor, I say I am Miss World Puerto Rico 2018. I was born and raised in a tropical paradise where we believe we will always be Boricuas, even if we were born in the moon. We tend to find an excuse to celebrate together. That is why our celebrations are so full of that vibrant excitement that distinguishes my people. When I was six years old, I became part of the San Juan Children's Choir, and at the age of 12, I learned how to play the most versatile and beautiful instrument, the piano. Now, I'm a master's student in health program evaluation in the University of Puerto Rico Health Sciences Campus. With love and compassion, I want to help others achieve wellness, inspire them to chase their dreams without any fears. But above all, I want to leave a beautiful mark in this world. Puerto Rico, tell us more about your passion for music. Well, Frankie, when I was six years old, I became a singer. And later, when I was 12 years old, I learned how to play the piano. And to be quite honest, I remember my childhood um, when I used to play in front of hundreds of people and the way that you connect with people and how you can transmit that energy onto the audience is truly a powerful tool because music is such a universal language. And I believe that you can also uh, use it as a therapy method because it has a therapeutic essence to it. So that's why I love it because I also used it on my Beauty With A Purpose project to help children in need. And how, how did you use music to, to help children in need? Well, I taught them how to sing, and I would use uh, things like um, rhythms and rhythm activities and singing activities so that they would uh, relieve their pressure from anxiety and depression as well. Yes. And are you excited for the Talent Fast Track competition? Yes, I'm very, very excited, yes. <laughs> okay, well, good luck, Puerto Rico. Thank you. And it's now time to meet our next contestant, Belarus. <laughs> This is an incredible feeling. It's like zero gravity. When the limits of the impossible disappear and the time stops. This is the moment of absolute happiness that comes from the inside. It's something intangible, innermost. Something that is always enveloped in mystery. One looks for inspiration in their own ways. I'm Maria Vasilevich. I get inspired. Now, Belarus, you are a talented dancer, you're an artist, and you can fly a plane. So, tell us about why you have such diverse talents. Frankie, I think that it's very important to discover your boundaries. I like to try myself in different areas. I like to try myself in uh, uh, new hobbies and in other different knowledges. So I think uh, it allows me to expire uh, bright
right emotions and feelings and if, of course it makes my life happier and more colorful and of course it helps me to develop myself in different areas. Well, truly a master of all trades. I hope, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Belarus. Thank you. Next we have Curacao. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I am Nazira Kolastika, 18 years old and I'm from Curacao. I like painting, music, swimming, poems and meditation. About my life story, I can tell that as a child, I always thought I have a gift. One of my strong beliefs is that you are your environment. You are responsible of your life and that you can change anything for better. Family has given me a sense of pride, peace and confidence that I have a why to be here and I must discover it. I chase my goal to become a model. As the mirror tells me, I have it all. As my family is the first door for me to become an influential woman, E Awards Foundation is the second door, and Miss Wool will be my third door. But walk with me to know why. Curacao, in your video you mentioned about having a why to be here. What is your why for being at Miss World? For me, everybody without exception has a life mission. I am discovering my life mission um, through support of the family and the opportunity as Miss World. My mission is to make a conscious impact that we together are establishing a change in a more profound, beautiful cause. My mind spill all the time searching doors for me and others' happiness. I'm sure that my life story will be an opening of the eyes of many um, to transform the humanity from within, to motivate them that they can do it too. I believe that this is my time to inspire the ones that can give a helping hand to the ones in need, to stand up and achieve it. It's all about heart's connection and bounce for the better. I believe that I am a seed of hope to be planned all around the world. Thank you, Curacao. We've met our first three contestants, and now it's time to meet Martinique. My name is Larissa Segarel. I am 21 years old. I come from Martinique. Actually, my job is clerk notary. J'ai la chance de vivre dans une belle île paradisiaque et touristique. Donc je vous fais pas dire, je profite tous les jours de la plage lorsque j'ai le temps. En plus de ce moment, je travaille en tant que clerc de notaire. Ce métier me passionne parce que pour moi, c'est un milieu très social en fait. On a tendance à se rapprocher des gens, des gens qui sont en souffrance, qui perdent un membre de leur famille. Et parfois, c'est un peu, c'est très difficile, du moins, c'est tout le temps difficile pour eux. Mais je suis là, je, je les épaule, je, je les conseille, voilà, parce que c'est avant tout mon métier. Et je trouve que pour moi, c'est une découverte aussi euh, vers les, les gens. La souffrance des personnes âgées me, me, me touche beaucoup, ainsi que les enfants. Et euh, à Miss Monde, je trouve que c'est une, bo une bonne opportunité pour moi d'être là, de to be able to help these people who are in great difficulty. Martinique, in your video you talk about being a notary, but I also know that you have a love of fashion. Tell me how you use this love of fashion to help fight against breast cancer. Okay. What I want to share with the world today is that beauty and beauty and the mode can be a great way of communication. And my goal was to choose the mode pour lutter contre le cancer du sein. Euh, J'ai pu effectuer de nombreux défilés euh, en Martinique pour la lutte contre le cancer du sein et cela m'a beaucoup enrichi. Et les vêtements qu'on a pu défiler ensemble sont revendus et l'argent sont transmis à une association qui est Amazon. Cette association, elle a le but d'aider les femmes qui, sont, euh, qui ont la maladie du cancer du sein. Et ce que j'acquère dans cette expérience, c'est que pour moi, c'est un plaisir d'aider ces femmes, car elles sont souvent découragées, elles n'ont plus confiance en, en elles, voilà. Et euh, je ressens une grande fierté d'aider ces femmes. Ma motivation a été ma grand-mère qui a été à tête de cancer. Euh, cela me touche beaucoup lorsque, lorsque j'en parle. 
Mais cela m'a donné aussi beaucoup de force et beaucoup d'ambition pour continuer dans cette voie. Voilà. Et le message que j'aurais pu dire à ces femmes, c'est euh, ne, ne vous découragez pas. Battez-vous. Je sais que ce n'est pas facile, mais nous sommes fortes et nous avons de la valeur euh, avec ou sans la maladie. Voilà. Thank you, Martinique. Next, we get to meet Netherlands. Hello, world. My name is Leonie Hisseling. I am very excited to represent the land with the flat geography in one of the biggest stages in the world. I realize the value of helping others. That's why I almost finished my bachelor degree in finance and entrepreneurship. Being Miss World Netherlands gives me the opportunity to make my words heard and using my title in the most positive way. As Miss World Netherlands, I'm not supporting one charity. I'm supporting a lot of more charities and I'm proud that I can make a difference. My Beauty with a Purpose project is about breast cancer. Is it not absurd that we have to detect a disease that still affects one in eight women in such a terrible way? That can be better and more women friendly. The knowledge that you give someone a more pleasant research is, after all, finer than the knowledge that you are seriously hurting women. I can't wait to meet all the other beautiful contestants. See you in China, November 2018. Netherlands, tell us about your love for animals. I grew up on a farm, actually, um, with a lot of animals surrounding me. Um, especially horses have a special place in my heart because I believe that horses and people can create a special bond together because horses are so intelligent and emphatic. And one of my horses get every year a foal. And it's wonderful to see the, that circle of life. And um, back home, I have three horses and a lovely dog. And do you have any fun animal stories that you can share about any of your pets or horses? Um, yeah, I have one, <laughs> maybe. When I was younger, I had a, um, a hamster and he passed away. So I made a little box for him to give him a funeral. And, um, but it was late and my parents said, do it tomorrow, because it's too late now. So the next morning, I want to give my hamster that funeral that he deserved. <laughs> but he was just walked away. He was not in there, that box I made for him. Oh my God. <laughs> and he was sitting in the corner like, hi. <laughs> and he was not dead, so um, I don't know. It, that's funny, but- It's funny. It's funny, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hamsters are so good in sleeping that, they're, that they look like they're dead. Well, I'm glad Bib lived a very yeah. wonderful uh, he life. He lived for two years. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I think that's a long time for hamsters. Yeah, it's okay. a long time, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that story, Netherlands. <laughs> Our last contestant of this group is Singapore. Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa Pei. It is an absolute honor for me to represent my beautiful country, Singapore. Singapore is an exceptionally diverse, prosperous and tranquil nation. Singapore is known to be a paradise for food and a shopping haven with incredible sightseeing and immaculate scenery. I am proud to call Singapore my home. At the age of 18, I started in the fashion industry and today I run my own jewellery business. While pursuing my passion, I spend time in volunteering work, hoping to do my part helping our community. Singapore, our beautiful lion city, with a population of close to 6 million, offers incredible opportunities for us to pursue our dreams. I am privileged to be given this amazing opportunity to represent my homeland in Miss World 2018. I hope to use my voice to encourage others, empower and inspire them to love, embrace and accept themselves for who they are and for what they stand for. Singapore, how can you help people accept who they are? Accepting yourself is the first step in creating a life that is embedded with love instead of fear. I would tell people to be comfortable in their own skin and to have the courage to pursue their dreams and to always be authentic and never change yourself just to fit into society's norms and expectations and to always accept who you are right at this moment and accept yourself regardless of 
your flaws and imperfections and never allow your past to dictate your future because you are uniquely you and only by going through struggle and failure would you be able to become the best version of yourself and trust the whole process. Thank you. Thank you, Singapore. Now, was this something you've always had within yourself or something that you had to also teach yourself as a young person? Because when I was growing up, I used to be very, um, I had low self-confidence and I struggled with low self-esteem. And I feel that it's very important to be comfortable with who you are and accept who you are right at this moment. Because if you're not confident with yourself, you will not be able to have the courage to go out there to meet the world and to try new things and to step out of your comfort zone and to be sitting beside six of, all six of us here. It's amazing, yeah. Thank you very much, Singapore. And thank you everyone for excellent responses and, and amazing video presentations. And I know the world has now gotten to know you all a little bit better. But as you know, only one of you can advance to round two of the Head to Head Challenge, and that is decided by a public vote. And there are four ways to do this. You can like the contestants' official Miss World Facebook page, like their content on Mobstar, vote for them on the Miss World website, or in China on Model Power Live. It's time for the final question. Now, ladies, you've all been given the question before the show. I'll read the question to each of you, and you'll all have a chance to respond. And we'll go in reverse order, starting with Singapore. Singapore, can one person change the world? And if so, how? I feel it is not easy to change the world because of all the big problems prevalent. However, I believe that it is possible for a person to make a difference. You just have to change your mentality, your actions and your habits. And we have to set a good example and we have to be an inspiration. And most importantly, we must have beauty with the purpose. We have to aim to give back to society in any capacity that we are able to and also help the needy and help the poor and be more, have more empathy and in this way, the world would definitely be a better place and we would definitely be able to make a positive impact and a change to this world. Thank you, Singapore. Thank you. Netherlands, can one person change the world? If so, how? Yes, I think one person can change the world. When people are talking about changing the world, they don't think that their single actions are able to change the world, but it does. Every single action make a difference. A little bit every day does matter. And uh, for example, eat fresh fruit instead of those in boxes or do some shopping with a used bag instead of a, buy a new one. And then you are save the environment and you are changing the world. And I believe that every individual has the power to inspire people. And when you are inspire people, you will change the world. Thank you, Netherlands. Martinique. Can one person change the world? If so, how? Moi, je dirais que cette question a deux réponses, donc oui ou non. Oui et non, pardon. Euh, non, car euh, le monde a tellement de principes, tellement de mentalités euh, qui sont ancrées en eux que je pense que ce sera très difficile pour nous de changer le monde comme ça. Et si on devrait le changer, euh, je pense qu'il faudra patienter énormément de temps parce que ce serait vraiment très compliqué. Euh, oui, car euh, si l'on veut, on peut. Donc, euh, si on est motivé, si on veut sensibiliser les, les gens à, à vouloir changer, que ce soit dans le domaine de, de, la, de la santé, le, le domaine de l'éducation, on peut, mais par contre, il faudra prier, car ce sera très long. Voilà. Thank you, Martinique. Curacao, can one person change the world? If so, how? It's a big yes for me because as we have so many nice examples of it, of people that has uh, made a change, that has uh, marked our lives forever. Some of them like Gali, um, Nelson, Mandela, um, King. And of course, I believe that in every people has the potential to make a change. A great human revolution in just a single individual will help achieve a change of a nation and further will help enable a change in the destiny of all humankind. Thank you, Curacao. Belarus, can one person change the world? If so, how? As American writer said that yesterday I was clever. That is why I wanted to change the world. Today I'm wise. That is why I'm changing myself. I completely agree with this statement and I'm sure that if you change yourself in this world, this world will change after you. 
For example, if you become kinder, uh, more humane, and uh, start to help to another people, you become an example to them. And these people will change after you too. Thank you, Belarus. Thank you. And Puerto Rico, can one person change the world? If so, how? I do believe one person can change the world. I mean, we have uh, amazing figures like um, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and for example, Clara Barton. She fought so bravely until she founded the American Red Cross. So uh, one thing I feel like they have in common is that they fight endlessly for a purpose that is so much bigger than themselves. And I remember back home, I worked along with uh, Sori Marbet and Cruz. She's such an inspirational woman because she was the founder of the Stefano Steinbacher's Foundation. And ever since we had the hurricanes back home, um, we have every single day and day and night uh, brought the necessities to people in need of medicine, People like that, that moves us, that motivates us, inspires us every single day, everyone around us to do the same work and achieve that same results that she has achieved is something so amazing to do. And I do believe in that way we can all change the world. Thank you, Puerto Rico. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. I think it's a unanimous yes that we can indeed um, help to change the world. So congratulations. You have finished the hard part of the head-to-head -head <laughs> challenge. So. As you know, only one of you can move on to round two of the Head to Head Challenge, and there are four ways to vote. You can like the contestants' official Miss World Facebook page, like their content on Mobstar, vote for them on the Miss World website, and in China on Model Power Live. Thank you very much, and that concludes this episode of the Head to Head Challenge.